Championship Wrestling, Byron Saxon, along Wade Barrett, and WWE Hall of Famer, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. I tell you what, what a great opportunity to sit out here with you guys. You're doing a great job. What a what a what a uh, end of the year show that we're going to have tonight. And what a way to start things off. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Natalia, Tyson Kidd, and David Hart Smith, the Hart Dynasty. Well, SmackDown superstars and graduates of the FCW training school, it's always a pleasure to have the Hart Dynasty in town. Introducing their opponents, the team of Gabriel and Johnny Fry. Well, Gabriel and Johnny Fry will more than have their hands full here tonight against the Hart Dynasty. And man, I mean, imagine you had the, the holiday stuff in, maybe uh, your turkey legs here and there, mashed potatoes, and now sit back and enjoy FCW and what should be a classic classic matchup. I'll tell you what, guys, this will be a classic matchup. Taking a look at great stars that were here, cut their teeth right here, and now are big stars at World Wrestling Entertainment. And I've got to be perfectly honest with you. I am amazed that we're even seeing Gabriel walking now. You remember last time we saw him dressed up as Mr. FCW getting monkey stomped in the corner. That wasn't by Gabriel. Eli Cotton. That was a dream. Was that Gabriel? No, I, you know, I tried to interview the guy back there myself. Went back and said, hey, the dream's here. You want to talk to him? Guy had the mask on and uh, he, uh, on his door said, Mr. FCW, I took that for the gospel. Yeah, Dream, you know, some of, you know when you've been out on, uh, on the road on business, Wade came up with this whole, uh, this whole facade, this thought process that Mr. FCW and Gabriel were one and the same. Well, I heard about that in, uh, you know, everybody got their own thoughts and Wade's got his thoughts and doing a great job, but that's a great job right there. This is a big, big match for Gabriel and Johnny Prime, period. Gabriel thus far has a number of Tyson Kidd, the protege of the legendary Brett the Hitman Hart. Watch out, cover here. And this Gabriel, so big, so powerful, so well conditioned, but also so limp-wristed. Look at the effeminate movement. And well, that's what irritates many people about Gabriel. Yeah, it irritates you. Yeah, it, 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 it does, it, and I don't know about that part, but when, you know, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Gabriel got a little bitty hand. I think oh, that's I what know. he was trying oh, to say, Dave. Believe Jay. me, I've noticed. I mean, I, I mean, little beady hands, but I know that uh, they they got to be powerful because uh, you know, I mean, he's got the body, like you say, he got all the tools, Wade. Well, you know what they say: you got small hands, you got a big brain. Is that what they said? Yeah. What they say? Who said that? Well, this guy used to know. His name's Mike. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I hate to gang up with you here, but uh, I kind of agree with Wade on the uh, on the hand side, but not on the talent side. I mean, you should, this is a big opportunity tonight. Uh, for him to, uh, to ma you know, make an impact, and that's why we're here. I'm sure David Hart Smith carries very little about the hand strength or size of Gabriel, who, oh, gets a little European oh. Watch out, Gabriel going for the win. Well, David Hart Smith is the Hart Dynasty's powerhouse, but he got out muscled in that one, and now we're going to see Johnny Prime. Johnny Prime, the former detention deputy. Oh, nice double vertical suplex. Prime. Do you ever wonder where he gets stuff like that? Like Byron just said, Wade. The attention deputy. They got nothing to do with FCW. When it comes to Byron Saxton, the mind boggles. It really does. Now, wait a minute, guys. Come on. Have a little holiday cheer. Uh, Johnny Prime, cheap Whoa. shot in Tyson Kidd. That wasn't cheerful. Watch out. Oh man, overhead belly to belly by David Hart Smith. This could be it. Well, how many times have we talked about David Hart Smith? All the tools. I mean, this guy is blessed. He's a freak of nature. That's what, that's what he is. He's an amazing, amazing talent. And Johnny Prime, a man so obsessed with the time. He's getting this clock cleaned in there right now. That was that was cute. Thank you. I've been working on that sort of stuff. Ryan looking for a counter here, but a neck breaker. What a win it would be for Johnny Prime if he, he were able to 
pin David Hart Smith. Tyson Kidd. So quick, as quick as a cheetah. Ouch. Cover here. Wait, I got a question for you, young man. You go ahead. I have watched you come back as Cabal. What a match y'all had last week. What a, it had to be a great incredible. opportunity. An incredible match. Bottom line, with you coming back, how long is it going to be before you actually see you step back in? Well, that here's guy. the deal, Green. Yes. I'm all about the money. I'm not happy with the amount of money that Steve Kern has offered me to perform here at FCW. When that money gets raised, that's when you'll see me in that break. Give me a break. Watch out. Speaking of money, someone could be going to the proverbial pay window. Like that, Dream? Yeah, I love that. Trying to get to the pay window. Johnny Prime now has no excuse after, after being able. He, he got an open shot right there by Gable to get out. Get out oh. Of the there you go. Little belly to back. If they call it down in Texas. So I don't know in England if they call that a, a belly to back, but uh, it's also called what, Brian? I'm sure you're going to correct me away. Well, I'm just saying it's called creating separation as well. Yeah. That's what they say in Virginia, where I'm from. I would have loved to have seen you in the streets of London, in the back alleys, when they brought Wade out on a prize fight for money against you. Well, you wouldn't have seen me because I don't hang out in back alleys. Yeah, yeah. believe me, you would have seen some sickening action if you'd have witnessed me fighting in the back alleys of England. It right. would have been a clubbering. It wouldn't have been a monkey stomping. It would have been a clubbering. Well, hundred uh, percent. Bit of clubbering going on here by David Hart Smith as Johnny Prime tries to fight back. I'll tell you what, don't forget, don't forget David Hart Smith and Tyson Kidd at one point were the Florida Tag Team Champions. For a long time as well, dominant champions. And now, quickly, one of the most feared tandems in all of SmackDown. Without a doubt. Dream, are you eating candy? Who left his candy up here? From last week? No, it can't be from last week. Now watch out! Well, I'm nearly getting the pinfall, Dream. I hear the rapper. I can't concentrate. Hey, let me ask you a question. Has, has anybody seen Oxana after, oh. Santa, after Santa Claus ran off with her? What? No, I still don't understand what happened last week. That's that was, that was right nuts. here. Johnny Prime, school boy, show this down on David Hart. Oh, That's something you missed while oh, we were talking. Wait, 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 yeah, where's Gabriel? Gabriel deserted Johnny Prime. Once that. again. What the heck? Johnny Prime left on his own. Yet another desert in a tag where, Where'd he go? Where'd Gabriel go? I think he got fed up with Johnny Prime's lack of attack. Well, Johnny Prime right here has an opportunity to, to get a victory right here. He's looking good. Oh. We fended off Tyson Kidd, who got a boot to the head, but now David Hart Smith on that second rope, maybe looking to apply a superplex. Wow. Very dangerous, very dangerous spot to be. Wow, what a move. That's it. It's, That's all, it's it. two on one for Pete's sake. No, it ain't. He just tagged in legal. Yeah, what what are you no, watching? There's no fresh man to tag in, and now the Hart Dynasty connecting with the Hart Attack. Showtime. You are your winners, Tyson Kidd and David Hart Smith. Well, to the dismay of Johnny Prime, Gabriel disappeared, and it seemed only a matter of time. Take another look. Johnny Prime held his own for a bit, but then leave it up to the tandem, the technically well-versed tandem of the Hart Dynasty to deliver the final shot and the victory. Wow. Wow is right. Wow, I, I tell you what, guys, we are, we're just a few days away from the New Year's. I want to kind of pick your brains here. Any New Year's resolutions? I got, I got a couple of them. I just want to keep on, uh, keep on keeping on, doing what I do, doing what I love, uh, you know, and, and, and have a, uh, FCW be the best it can be, and young men like Wade right here, and just keep on. I hope I get plenty of dates this year. You know, I'm going to drink plenty of eggnog and all that stuff. Well, let me tell you, my resolution is to sort my contract out with Steve Kern, get the money I deserve, and date you in the FCW ring. Sometime in 2010, it's going to happen. Well, folks, I'm sure a lot of you have your resolutions, and so do a lot of the other FCW superstars. Take a look. My New Year's resolution is to be alpha female of FCW. <laughs> Only one person can wear the pants around here. Liviana. What's my New Year's resolution? 
I don't need no New Year's resolution. I already look perfect. You people are the ones who need to get in shape to stop smoking. You know what? I got a New Year's resolution for you. Why don't you spend this year trying to be more like Dawson Alexander? I mean, come on. I know none of you are ever going to look this good. I have dinner with the president like I did. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try to stop being like me. So why don't you spend 2010 trying to be like Dawson Alexander? Oh yeah, Happy New Year. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the host of the Abraham Washington Show and the general manager of Florida Championship Wrestling, Abraham Washington. Guys, I just want to let you know how how much pride I've had this year in knowing that that's, that's our general manager and my good friend and my homeboy, Abraham Washington. You got to give it up. Well, he's done some good, he's done some good stuff, had some great stuff. You know, some great things that happened during his reign, if you will, as general manager. We see what happened in 2010. Well, yet again, he's headed out here without any Divas in time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank You're you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, um, as the general manager of Florida Championship Wrestling, I want to be the first to come out here and start us off on the right foot. You know what I'm saying? For the new year. I would like to be the first to make my New Year's resolution, huh? You want to know what that is? My New Year's resolution is to stop spending all of the FCW money on going to the club looking for women. Yep. That's a good resolution. That's, That's pretty good. That's my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Psych! I ain't doing nothing. You understand? <laughs> that ain't my New Year's resolution. I don't need a New Year's resolution. You know why? Because everything that I do is great. Huh? Everything that I do is the best. Huh? I made FCW what it is. Huh? That's right. That's right. Do you all remember that history making monumentous match called the Grand Royale? Huh? Who do you think put that together? I did that. Huh? <laughs> he did. <laughs> I also am the first ever general manager of FCW. Huh? You see? I'm great. I don't need a New Year's resolution. But seeing that uh, some people here in the company need New Year's resolutions. So I'm going to bring out a gentleman right now who I feel has some explaining to do for the new year. So will you all please give it up for the FCW heavyweight champion, Mr. Justin Angel. We're the face of Florida Championship Wrestling. There he is, Justin Angel. You talk about being on a roll. This young man, Wade, has been on a roll. He certainly has been on a roll, and he's looking very pleased with himself right now, carrying the FCW gold. Would you be surprised if he said, my New Year's resolution is to meet Wade Barrett? Well, a lot of people want to meet me, dreaming if they've got the money, they can. Now, uh, Justin, is it's good to see you again, but um, I brought you out here for the FCW Universe so you could uh, let them know how much you appreciate me, you see, because it's me, Justin, that put that poster up there for you, huh? It's me, Justin, that you owe that uh, shiny little title to, huh? I'm the one that gave you the opportunity to have that match so you could actually become and make something out of your life. You see? Huh? And who cut your hair, huh? Is that the new rooster look you going for? Is that how they cut their hair in South Africa? That's Zulu style right there. <laughs> <laughs> the but, uh, for real, for real. If you have a New Year's resolution, let the people know, man. Let them know how much you're going to appreciate me this year. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, Abe, let me just clear a few things up. You see that banner right there? It's not because of you. It's because of good people like Steve Kern. And you see this title right here? It's not because of you. That was all me. And as far as my New Year's resolution goes, let's just say this year was good, but next year is going to be great. 
How about that? That's disrespectful. You see, that's the foolishness that I'm talking about right there, man. How are you going to talk about Steve Kerr? Steve Kerr ain't did nothing for nobody, huh? Remember, I beat Steve Kerr to become the general manager of this place. Amen. Speaking of Steve Kerr, you know what? Why don't we bring him out here? Steve, if you're back there, come out here right now. All right. President of FCW. A lot of president makes his way. I don't appreciate how our champion disrespected our general manager. Yeah, well, me speaking for Wade, we don't care how you feel. That's very We don't true care agree. if you get up and leave the podium. Well, I think you would if I did. Could certainly be a lot more rude once you go, Saxton. Yeah, especially that big head he's got being on ECW. <laughs> very funny. Steve looks good, don't he? Now, 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 Steve. You done brainwashed this young man right here into believing that you had something to do with him being champion. But I can see Christmas is coming and gone, and um, Santa didn't bring you that toupee you asked for, did he, huh? No, it was a bad year for Steve, huh? I think I'm gonna stuff some Geritol in his stocking, if you know what I'm saying, huh? Anything you like to say, Steve, huh? What makes I thought you, you wanted to know my fine New Year's resolution. You know what, Steve? If you have something to say, if you have a New Year's resolution, let us know. I would love to hear it. Thank you. My New Year's resolution is to continue bringing Florida Championship Wrestling into the future. We're going to continue showing the FCW universe new talent from all parts of the world, and we're going to continue pushing them right into the WWE and all three brands, ECW, the one you're in, Raw, and SmackDown. But you know something? I've been looking over the bylaws and the constitution of the FCW, and you know, you made a lot of statements out here that were true. One, yeah, you may be a trailblazer with some new matches. <laughs> I told you, I told you. Number two, you were the first GM. That's correct. But That's right. <laughs> you didn't have a New Year's resolution. Let me give you a hint. At the end of this show, your term is over because it only lasts what? one what? year. Wow. What? What are you talking about? Hey, look here. No, 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 Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Hey, hey. What are y'all clapping for? What are you clapping for? Hey. Stop that clapping. Ain't funny. Hey, hey, hey. No, stop it. Oh, you won man. last year. So it's like that you now, obviously huh? won last year, but there's a whole new election coming up. And you're making your last few decisions in this hour, so I prepare for my new election. That's right. The people have spoken. Yeah, four yeah. more years. Four more years. They love me, Steve. We love them. These people love me. I'm the one that makes this show hot, you see? Who else? Who else can do what I do, huh? Who else can feel my shoes? I got big shoes to feel, Steve. Ask my girlfriend. She'll tell you, huh? Who? Yeah. In the Ooh. world, who, who, who in the world, Steve, do you have in this building? to do that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with being general manager? Oh, but Trey, what are you doing, man? You can't say, what are you doing? We'll see what happens. What about Abraham? You better go and uh, talk to him about you get the head? E e e about them shoes. You know what? Hold it. Uh, hold it. Uh-oh. Hold it right there. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm really sorry for the interruption. It's our ass or we're not showing stuff. What's going on now? I apologize for the interruption, Mr. Kern, Justin Angel. But you, I would like to verify that you are indeed Abraham Washington. You, you, you dad gum right on Abraham Washington, man. Ask these people. Abraham Washington is a pimp. Well, that's good, Abraham, because it's been brought to my attention that you haven't paid your taxes in the last six years. What? Have I paid pay my taxes, man. 
10 years ago, I paid him. I, I got the proof. I got my receipts. Well, that's fine, but I'm also here to inform you that you, my friend, are being audited. No! No, oh, man! Oh, look at those hands on and me. that's wow. not even the best part. Audited? What does that mean? The best part is you need to come with us, Mr. Washington. I ain't going with nobody, man. What y'all talking about? Hey, what y'all doing, man? Get your hands yes. off me. Yes. Hey, get your hands off me, dog. Uh, What's your problem? You get to get... I need Johnny Cochran. He's Johnny Cochran. Hey, yes. help me. What's going on, man? I ain't, I ain't did nothing. I paid my taxes. Huh? I'm a clip, man. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Hey, let me go. Hands hey, off let me go, man. I'm a pimp. I told you I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm telling you. Wow. What the heck is going on here? Happy New Year! Wow. That might be the last we ever see of Abraham Washington. This is not right. An American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Sounds like you might be moving up in the world. Maybe we can discuss business after this show. I'm sure we might, but I don't really have a comment on that right now. This is not fair! Abraham, come back! <laughs> The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from College Station, Texas, weighing 278 pounds, Skip Sheffield. Wait a minute, Saxton. This Skip Sheffield's got bog roll hanging from his trunks. That's bog roll, toilet paper. No, no, that's a towel, you get, like in football, where you go up and clean your hands on. How the hell, how the hell, FCW? I'm Skip Sheffield, and if you're ready for some shaking and baking, can I get a yup, yup, yup? Yup, yup, yup? Yup, yup, yup? Yup, That's what I'm talking about. Now, with a new year coming up, we have New Year's resolutions. And good old Skip Sheffield is no different than any of you. I, too, want to have some resolutions this year. I'm having a little bit of trouble, though, coming up with something. I mean, a common resolution is to work on your fitness. I mean, I'm no stranger to the gym, so I think I could scratch that one right off. Another common resolution is to lose a few pounds, you know, drop some weight in the new year. I'd actually like to gain a few LBs myself, so let's just go ahead and scratch that one off. That's about gain some brain cells. I mean, cells. we got to quit smoking and quit drinking. I don't smoke <laughs> and I don't drink. The only thing I drink is that Diet Mountain Dew, and I ain't quitting that, so scratch that on off. What's that? What? Oh, shoot. There we have it. Bog roll. Oh. Oh, no. He's not toilet trained. There we have it. I guess my New Year's resolution is going to be to check for toilet paper after I go to the bathroom. I just gave a whole new meaning to what it do. Wow. Introducing his opponent from Cleveland, USA, weighing 245 pounds, Michael Tarver. You know, guys, I I'm sorry. You know, that, that was funny and all, but I'm Am I the only one that's still a little distraught over what we just saw before the commercial break? Um, Abraham Washington was just taken out of FCW. Yeah, he was taken out. He might be back in the new year, though, Saxton. Oh, my money's on this man to the right of me, the American Dream, it's Dusty Rhodes. He could be dream. our next GM. What are you thinking? Well, I'm going to discuss that with my family. Talk, talk with Steve Tennessee and the feasible. But I know one thing. When you have a talent like Wade Barrett sitting next to you, you're going to do something with him with money he needs, money I got, Jack. So I'm not saying I'm running, but I am looking for a new host of FCW. You know what I'm talking about? What do you mean a new host? Well, you know, you're up there doing ECW and everything. Yeah, I can do both jobs. Well, we'll see about that. Let's see about Mr. Tarver here taking care. I've won Skippy Sheffield. I, I can't work under these conditions. This is emotional distress. Well, all I can say is I'm very excited about the future, Mr. American Dream. But anyway, onto this matchup, we see the power Ooh, look of at him. Skip Sheffield against Ooh. the punching accuracy Ooh. of Mr. Tarver. Well, it takes us 1.9 seconds or less for Tarver to knock you out, but 
Joseph Sheffield apparently has other ideas in mind. Look at the power of yes. Sheffield. You know, he's possibly the strongest superstar in the FCW locally. Last week, he walked into a wall in the FCW arena and the whole ceiling came crashing down. He yeah. walked into a wall. He walked into a wall and the entire ceiling came falling on everyone's head. Well, I heard that. I heard the ceiling fail. It was like an earthquake that hit the building. Yeah, Skip just fell on top of Tarver. And there was a guy inside there that fell off the ceiling screaming, oh, Help, no. I can't get up. Okay, Help. guys, listen. I can can't we, get up. Can we lay off the eggnog in the future? Pete's sake. Guy in the ceiling. I sure would like a hot dog up here right now. You know? Well, I'm sure Skip Sheffield would like a victory. Tarver, other attention, hooks it tight. And how about that? You reap your win. Sheffield's done. Well, folks, before the bell drops to 2010, the ball of excitement could drop next in the final match of 2009. Eight man tag Slater, Croft, Beretta, and Hawkins versus Boa Duper Tundo, Frankie Biazzi, and Alberto Banderas. Take a The following contest scheduled for one fall is an eight man tag team match. Introducing first, from Pineville, West Virginia, King Slater. Welcome back to Florida Championship Wrestling, and it is main event time. And the first participant in this eight-man tag, the superstar who simply says he has it. It being the intangible of a superstar. And he is the housewife's favorite, Keith Slater. We have seen him in some great matchups this year and, uh, you know, look for big things for him in 2010. 2010, if you will. Introducing his partners, the Florida Tag Team Champions, the Dude Busters, Trent Beretta, Kalen Krupp, and Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, the controversial yet sophomoric trio, Dude Busters Incorporated, I think Wade put it right when he called him uh, an American trilogy. Is that what you say, Wade? Three all-American boys that this country should be proud of. They deserve a lot more respect than they're getting from the SCW universe. Is that so? They should have held a ticket tape parade for them. Do you really believe when you say this stuff? What I want to know is how come Justin Angel got a banner when he won the title, yet the Dude Busters win the tag title? He's a Where's Florida that banner? He's champion. Introducing their opponent, the team of Bo and Duke Rotundo, Brett, D.B. Asiano, Berto, and Dennis. Well, how about this group? And you got the former Florida Tag Team Champions Rotundos, Alberto Banderas, and the darkness one, Brett DiBiase. Well, it's an interesting group to say the least. These ropes on those are wild boys. They remind me of feral children, babies lost in the jungle, raised by wolves, raised by oh, chimpanzees, boo. developing the behavioral characteristics of their new parents. Oh, uh, is this is this Bright House or is this Discovery Channel? Wow, that, that was pretty clever, though. I mean, when you really think about it, but these young guys, as you said, young Red DiBiase, I mean, uh, this is a great look right here. What a way to end the year, my guys. I'm telling you, what a way to end 2009. Unbelievable year. Wait, do you think I'd have to wear a suit if I did run for a general manager? Dream as far as I'm hey, is this appropriate conversation? Is this really appropriate conversation How's about now? not butting into a conversation that doesn't concern you? How about huh? focusing on the match, not on the tragedy that occurred earlier tonight, ladies and gentlemen? A tragedy! Abraham, well, I, I can't talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Don't Focus cry, on your own TV Ooh. sucks. The man. Look at the power of Big Duke, former offensive lineman. Big Duke, I call him the Bullifant down in Texas. We got guys that are super strong and like that and just roam around and just, we call him Bullifant. Oh. And there we see a headbutt directly to the family jewels of Hawkins. 
to the wedding. The family jewels, the wedding tackle, the unmentionables. The wedding tackle. You're crazy. The wedding tackle. <laughs> Byron, do you like that? Where are you, uh, Byron? Are you with us, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. Well, reminiscent of last week. What is Trent Beretta in there with Alberto Banderas, and who has scored victories over both Kayla Croft and Trent Beretta on several occasions? No, no, I got one better than that. He beat them every time out, every time he faced them. Oh, that too. Despite the efforts of the Dude Busters to counteract Banderas. Look at this one. Oh, Billy. Huge reverse monkey flip. And, oh, wisely oh, tagging out. Oh, Very yeah, wise. Good strategy. It should be commended for that. He's got a good head on his shoulders, as young Fred Barata. Good strategy running up to a man and grabbing him in it's that an manner. man tag team match. You can spin it any way you want. It's strategy, Saxon. Spin it. I saw it. I, sw I swear you got a defective monitor. Please, Dream, if you can pull some strings, please get Wade Barrett a better monitor next year. I'm just an innocent bystander. That's all I am. A Hall of Famer, if you will. They're not going to be the power, power to feed the beast sour. Too funky like a monkey could be this win. Not that funky. Mm. And the peasants of Mexico City are going wild as we speak because their man is peasants. dominating. Peasants. Oh, how about this? DiBiase breaks his name, and our pain is what he's doing. You talk about a guy that was born into it and has all the tools. Brett DiBiase certainly has that. Absolutely. Turn it into a technical wizard. But he's up there with a wizard of his own. Wait. He's Slater. Excuse me, wait. Have you ever been cow chip throwing? Have I ever been what? Cow chip throwing. When you get back for the new year, they'll take you out to the ranch when we discuss what's going on. I'll, I'll look and, forward and to that. To I'll the pencil that in my diary. Uh -huh. uh, uh, there's someone else at this desk that might like to go. He, he, well, yeah, we, we can have you gather all the cow chips up and bring them to us <laughs> so we can throw them. You know what I mean? Very funny, guys. How the tables have turned, they suck. I didn't want to go anywhere. Hey, hey, here we go. Boy, with every man in this... Eight men right here like to be the Florida heavyweight champion, much less a, the Florida tag team champion. But just think about a, 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 a poster hanging on the wall there. One of them big, uh, what they, what they call it? They don't call that a poster. What they call that? A banner. A big banner. Well, could you imagine if one of the Dude Busters managed to capture the Florida they would have it all. title? They would have it all. Complete control. Whoa, oh, come on. Oh, man. Thank Kaylin Croft. Brett DiBiase's in trouble. Can he recover? We gotta take a break. We'll be back. Welcome back to FCW. The future starts here, and you are watching the final match of 2009, our main event. The Dude Busters alongside Heath Slater taking on Brett DiBiase, the Rotundos, and Alberto Banderas. The only world champion in the FCW locker room, Kurt Hawkins, preventing uh, yeah. the tag. There we have it, the comedy I was talking about. And this comedy is so good, it's layered. Watch this match back again on tape next week. You will see all the jokes that you missed the first time. Incredible stuff. Wow. Groundbreaking. Are you done? Are you seriously done? Continue. It's unbelievable. Stop sulking. It's people listening to this show. Be professional. Yeah, and, 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 and I, might, I just got a notion that he's not done. He just started. Byron. Yeah, well, you know, uh, uh, keep in mind, look, look at the dude busters here. Slater joined he yeah, he forces, didn't, but he didn't catch him full board there, Ray. Did he also yeah, yeah, he he moving out of the way? Yeah. That huge knee drop from Slater. And again, reaching for that tag, inches away. Slater holding on for dear life at left ankle of Brett DiBiase. Bo Rotundo holding his dirty fingers out. DiBiase unable to reach them. Why are they dirty fingers? Yeah, why are they dirty fingers, Wade? Oh, come on, look at him. He's a wild child. Plays in the mud in the soil. Oh. Let me ask you this. Do you think those Rotundos eat with knives and forks at their house? You think they're cavemen or something? What's your problem? That's what they remind me of. 
Well, they remind me of, uh, of some athletes that are trying to make their way. I'm telling you, they're really cool, cool guys. I don't know, have any dinner. Uh, did you go over there for Thanksgiving dinner? Wait, no, you didn't. No. Did you go over there for Christmas dinner? No, you didn't. And I, I got a feeling you ain't going to be welcome there when we go into the new year. Now, Byron, on the other hand, was eating at the table of Abraham Washington, but I don't know how that's going to fare <laughs> after the night. Oh, please, let's not get off topic here. Brock, once again, looking for the win against Brett DiBiase. These dude busters, you know, despite Wade's emotions and feelings towards their actions, they've made a lot of enemies. I mean, you look over at the opposite corner, they've made enemies with Tundos, they've made enemies with Alberto Banderas, and I'm certain, certain that Brett DiBiase doesn't think very highly of them. Why is that? Why do you think they have such a growing list of enemies? Anytime that you are a champion and any Thing. I don't care what it is, you got enemies because people are trying to get what you got. That's simple. You should have been able to figure that out yourself, Byron. It's but like you read my mind, Dusty. Oh, great. Dusty. <laughs> See there, I like that. If it used to be Mr. Dream and now it's Dusty. Yeah, I, I, feel, yeah, I, I feel, haven't decided I to run for general manager or win yet. So. Can we stop I feel talking about that, please? Over this show. Do, we have to, do, do we have to keep hard? Okay, we got it. We got the news, okay? About an hour ago, okay? We know. And let's just drop it already. I'll tell you, the bad news here is for uh, Brett DiBiase. He's taking a really pounding. He's in a real bad way. And he is not the person you want to be in the ring with when you're in this kind of position. Absolutely right. You know, he slated The ladies love him. They throw their underwear at him like he's Tom Jones. But he can do it. When he's in that ring, he is a dangerous individual. My, 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 Delilah. That's the one. Oh, we please. Same one, Tom Jones. I picked that right up. Oh! He's got him in dire straits. Brett DiBiase has got to make the tag. That goes without saying right now. Look at how he's got the neck. Look at how Slater's got the neck of Brett DiBiase twerked. There you go, young man. Got the fire up. DiBiase with everything he has, but watch his head just bobbling back and forth. Oh, man. Barely able to Couldn't make the tag. Damn. Great job by Heath Slater. But a desperation drop kick from DiBiase. And yet again, DiBiase, hands and knees, crawling for that tag. Bolo turned over. Trying to get it. Out, and Got he's it. made it. Here comes Bo. Bo and Hawkins. Bo won half the former tag team champions. You know they want their titles back. You know they want another shot. A big Bo Rotunda, like a human tank, throwing his way around in there. Bo's got a chance to send a message. Huge impact and a big running bulldog. No, oh, no, reverse. no. Countered by Hawkins got him, second though. time around. It's the leg. This could be. Oh, no. no. You come to do. Jalen Croft in with the same. Van Deren, oh. Croft, bodies everywhere. Here comes Trent Beretta. Losing control here, Beretta with that spinning tornado DDT. Watch out for the bullet front. Big Duke. Power personified. Slater, Slater, oh. sweetness. Slater just hit sweetness on Duke Rotundo. Body lying everywhere. <laughs> this match has broken down badly. I don't even know who's legal anymore. Got bodies all over the place. Floating around, flying around. Hawkins just drove Brett DiBiase's head through the mat. Referee Here's your legal guys control. here. Here's your legal guys right here. Back to the final two. Bo Rotundo, Kurt Hawkins, wow. Spear. Hooked him. He got him. Oh, happy New Year, buddy. of the year. Hey, Happy New Year, guys. Well, well, well folks, uh, just so you know, I've just learned a match signed by uh -huh, uh -huh, the general manager in my book, Abraham Washington, next week in the new year, Johnny Curtis, Joe Henning. Oh, yeah, and I bet you didn't know this. They'll be surrounded by a human cage. A human cage. A human, a human cage. cage. Oh, man, folks, for myself, the sax, he's the Baron, he's the dream. <laughs> Happy New Year.
Until next week, then, this would be Gordon Soley saying so long from the Sunshine State.